B-Link has done it again. They've created the most powerful mini computer on the planet as of today. So you keep watching, I will explain why it is the most powerful mini PC available on the marketplace today. Just take a look at these specifications. You have eight cores and 16 threads running at 4.9 gigahertz maximum turbo frequency. The GPU is an AMD Radon 680M with 12 cores and uses the RDNA2 graphics architecture at 2.4 GHz graphics card frequency. B-Link advertises that this mini computer can play a lot of the AAA games in 1080p. So I do not own some of these games, so I cannot confirm that it indeed does play in 1080p. It comes with a power supply, a user manual, two HDMI cables, and a mounting bracket to mount to the wall or the back of your monitor. It also comes with two covers to go onto the top of the computer. Here is the front of the computer. This is one side of the computer. It has one 2.5 gigahertz ethernet port, four HDMI ports, two USB 3 ports, and two USB 2 ports, and a lot of ventilation ports at the top, and just ventilation holes on the other side. We are going to be testing this machine as a Plex server and an Ambi server. We will be testing some of these games to see how they play. Of course, most of these games are from about 15 or 20 years ago, and that's about the last time I was able to play games. We're also going to be testing the Plex Home Theater and Ambi Theater on this device. So we'll see how both of those play. Let me run a quick diagnostic. The video feed is breaking up. I'm going to try to recalibrate. Alright, the suit checks out. You're back online. Still no word from Aztec. No man. Rendezvous with Jester and head to Aztec's location. Check your objectives display. Of course, what old timer does not remember this game by LucasArts? Of course, this is my all time favorite game Outlaws. After you've completed a lot of your work on the computer 
it's time to relieve some of the stress by playing some of these old games. So this is just one of the ones that I use for my stress reliever. This new B-Link GTR6 is one of the most powerful mini PCs on the planet. Multitasking with the B-Link GTR6 is a piece of cake because it is so powerful. It is running the Plex server in the background and the MB server in the background. At the same time, it's displaying my IP camera using VLC and it's using the HD Home Run app to play live TV. Of course, it plays YouTube videos in 4K without any dropped frames. It plays Netflix in HD but not 4K, but I believe that is a limitation of Windows. The same thing with Voodoo. It plays in HD but not 4K. Again, Paramount Plus is in HD but not 4K. Okay, using the OBS Studio application, we are going to live stream on YouTube our IP cameras. That's deck one, deck two, rear. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and stream one of these, deck two. Now these are my wireless cameras. I click on start streaming. Manage broadcast. Bird feeders, bird feeders. Create broadcast and start streaming. Okay, let's go to YouTube and find out and see if we actually are streaming. Yes, we are live streaming. Okay, here's the stats for NERS for the stream. And it looks like I am broadcasting in 1920 by 1080. I think that's what it means. But anyway, that's my live stream on that one particular camera. Now that, again, that is a wireless camera. There's no Ethernet connection to it, but it does have power. Okay, here's CPU-Z. It gives you a little bit of information about this mini PC. And this is a Ryzen 9 6900. It's got eight cores and 16 threads. There's a main board, model GTR, manufacturer's AZW. The memory using DDR5, 32 gigabytes of memory. It's using two memory sticks, 16 gigabytes of each stick. And there's the graphics card. Very fast graphic. Anyway, that's the specifications on this particular mini PC. Again, the main thing about this mini PC, it is extremely powerful, so it can transcode any of the it can transcode any of the audio or video codecs. Let's take a look at the Plex Home Theater, HTPC. Okay, this is what the Plex Home Theater looks like, the interface. Again, that's Plex. We're going to take a look at the Envy Theater. Okay, this is their interface. Again, the MB server and Plex server are running on this mini PC 
same as the clients. These are called the clients. So it's all in one machine. It's got the server and the client all in one machine. People ask me, what is a server? And I try to explain to them, it's like Netflix. You can watch an episode of Netflix, turn it off, go to another room, and pick up watching the same program where you left off. Or you can go to a different country and watch Netflix and start from the same place you left off. Okay, a Plex server and an Envy server, they basically do the same thing. They serve your media over the internet or locally. So you can watch it on any TV if you have a device that accepts Envy or Plex. Or you can be halfway around the world using the internet and you can still watch them. That is what a server does. It serves your media anywhere you want it. Sometimes when you have a device that does not support the video codec or audio codec that you're trying to use, then you have to have a powerful device that can transcode those different video codecs or audio codecs. And this B-Link seems to do the job and decodes every single one of the audio and video codecs that I have. So in other words, if I'm out of the country and I have a low internet connection, all my videos have to be transcoded to a lower bit rate to transmit over the internet. So it needs a powerful computer to do that transcoding. And this machine does do that. So this is a fantastic little machine. So it is a good gaming machine, even though I'm not a gamer and not able to demonstrate the capabilities of the newest games but supposedly it plays most of the AAA games in 1080p so it does play the games it also runs the plex server and the envy server both on the same machine so this is quite a capable mini pc that b-link has just put out 